Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Just Claire Creates and today I'm doing a Traveller's Notebook spread. I have scrap lifted this layout from the lovely Claire at Scrappy Nerd UK uh, and I saw her layout which is the 12 by 12 layout on Instagram and knew that I wanted to copy it because she used washi tape instead of pattern paper as a background. And I knew that I wanted to use this washi tape which is a wide one from Paper Chase because it's got this busy pattern on which would look really good as a background. So I'm just sticking down my photo. For this story I'm using an old photograph of me when I was a child with a toy kitchen which was my favourite toy when I was younger. So I'm just looking on Instagram at Claire's layout to see what elements she had used uh, and which bits I was going to replicate. So here I'm just getting out my tiny word stickers and I use ones that say remember this, favourite of all time in the history of ever and count your lucky stars. In Claire's layout I think she used a flare in the bottom right hand corner but I had a look through my flares and none of them really went with the colour schemes that I was using so I've gone for a little white glittery star which came from an Ali Edwards kit. Then I looked back at Claire's layout and she had a whiteboard around her photo which just makes it stand out so much better from the busy washi tape behind. But I realised that I hadn't left a whiteboard on my photo so I was just looking through my scraps to see if I could use them to create a border around it. These papers are from the Like Forever March kit. But then I realised that it just looks a little bit too busy and I wanted that clean white look um, and luckily because I was sticking my photo onto washi tape it actually came off super super easy so that was a plus so I'm just now backing it onto some white card to give it that brightness behind it to make it stand out from the washi tape behind my printer was not playing nice so the edge of the photo hasn't printed very well Normally my photos would print with a white border anyway, but because I wanted to cut it down so that some of the uh, edge that was a little bit blurred was missing, I actually lost that white border. So I'm just using a piece of pattern paper there just for the top bit and I was trying to decide which side of that paper I liked the best because they were kind of similar colours, um, but this one had sort of little squares on it so I've used that one. And now I'm just using my pen to go around and do a hand-drawn border, which I really like, although one of the sides went a little bit fuzzy. Now on the right side, I don't have um, very many alphas at the minute or kind of word stickers, so instead of doing that like Claire did on her layout, I've actually used a stamp for my title. I was going to put that in the middle in the same way that she did but I knew that I wanted to add in some journaling so I've added it to the top um, and then on Claire's layout I think she'd used um, inks or mists like a Heidi Shine type thing on the corners of her layout but I didn't have any of that so I looked through my stash to see what I could use instead and I've used some of these little sequins that came in a Brimbles box which I'm really pleased with actually because I haven't used them on anything before so then I'm just doing some hand drawn lines to fit all my journaling in. The stamp that I've used is a Heidi Swap one which came in the March Like Forever kit. And I just used black stays on ink. And then I'm just going around the page, finishing off that border so that it matches the side on the left. And there's my layout. Thanks for watching.